So how happy are you right now? You're happy or is you an unhappy person? I want to share this uh, little in this little talk uh, with you, something about belief, because belief, I believe is uh, the key that will open any door to any success or happiness that you want. But you've got to be careful. There's one thing you've got to be careful about belief, is that whilst it can work for you, belief, your beliefs, can work against you. They can either lift you up or they can push you down. So the message is right from the get-go is be careful what you are choosing to believe in. I wanted to find a definition of belief. I looked in the dictionary and I loved this definition. Belief defines an idea or a vision that you believe to be true. Um, as I said, it can work for you or against you because our life, in my opinion, is just a self-fulfilling prophecy because we are what we think. What you think is what you're going to become. You think positive, that's what you're going to become. You think negative, that's what you're going to become. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. That was true of me. When I was a young man, I, um, I mean, I'm talking from the age of eight up until the age of about 39, I had this belief that there was someone I don't know who it was. There was just someone that was looking over me, looking out for me, helping me out whenever I got in trouble. They were sat next to me, riding shotgun, as they used to say in the Wild West, taking care of me. I did not know who that person was, uh, but I knew they was there. I knew it. I knew it from an early age. And all the way through my younger years and up to the age of about 39, that person was sat there resolutely next to me, looking over me, helping me out. If I ever needed help, it was there. I always got out of any trouble, any fix that I was experiencing, any problem. I got out of it. If I needed money, money would always turn up. Not a million pounds, but enough to see me through. Always, somehow, was was uncanny, was eerie. I met my wife, Tracy, and, you know, as the years ago, I'd always say to her over the years, I've got this person that's looking out for me. I don't know who it is, um, but they're there. And, man, I achieved everything that I wanted to achieve in my life. Got to where I wanted to be in the, in the work world. Uh, got to where I wanted to be in the family world. Beautiful wife, four beautiful kids who looked how I believed that they would look. And that was all swimming, all going fantastically well up until the age of 39. But it's funny that how your belief system can be eroded, it can be dented by life itself, just by the negativity and the onslaught and the challenges that life can come your way or ill health can play a part too. And just put a dent or a chink in the armour of your belief system and suddenly it can get a little bit negative. And you've got to be careful because you are what you think. And I started in my life at the age of about 39, believing that person that was always there, I could count on that person, that person that was always there, always looking out for me, was suddenly starting to look the other way. And as I started to believe this, bad things started to happen in my life, and my life fell apart. Um, I experienced some bad health, and I got as low in uh, my life as I had ever ever had been and I would say to my wife that that person's looking the other way and my belief was that that person was looking the other way and I felt lonely I felt depressed I felt down and I felt out but somehow somewhere I managed to sort of work on my belief and um, I started to believe that that person may still be there and I started looking out for that person and that belief in me grew as my life started to turn around. The more I believed that that person was there, the more great things happened for me in my life. I went from a desperate situation to a fantastic a position in every aspect of my life. And that's why I've got this Be Happy podcast, because I want to help as many people around the world as possible. Because my belief is just a word, a sentence or a phrase can help someone somewhere to get to a better place in their life. Now, something else can happen to you when you've got real belief. You can experience what's called grace and favour. Grace and favour is when something comes to you or happens for you that you never expected. You didn't think you deserved it, um, didn't, didn't expect it for sure, but it just comes your way. And that's happening for me right now in my life. In, in the business world, I lost my way. I was going down a route that was going to end up in failure for me. No question about it. And I could not see it. Didn't know it. Didn't even 
realised it. I was exposed, but um, <clears throat> I couldn't see. I was a blind person to the problem. I could not see it. Suddenly, I get this call from someone that I used to work with that is still a friend of mine, um, who we started chatting, and they said, oh, look, can I come and spend a day with you? I said, yeah, come on in. So they did. It was a Friday. It was last Friday, and they came in uh, to uh, work or stand alongside me in the business. And, man, did they give me a bollocking. Did they give me some criticism? Did they kind of really tear a strip off me, rip me apart? Um, I felt um, depressed when I realised where I was currently at and where I was heading. I was angry with myself for not seeing where I was and what was happening. Um, I felt failure. I felt anger. I felt uh, misery, unhappiness, etc., etc. Um, I went through the weekend because this was on a Friday. I went through the weekend, you know, just full of, you know, looking back on what had just been said and what I'd found and what I'd experienced. Went through all of those emotions by Monday morning, as is normal with me. I've turned all of that into action. This is what I'm going to do to put things right. And we've spent the last four days, one more day tomorrow, on really, I mean, really putting some long hours in, really getting behind the problems that were identified, and we're smashing it. I can tell you, I was heading for the rocks. I was like the Titanic heading for the iceberg. Didn't see it. I was going to hit it um, until... And I believe in angels. Here's the thing. Some people may go, what are you talking about, man? I believe in angels. I believe that if you look for an angel in your life, uh, when you're in moments of uh, distress or whatever, if you're a good person, an angel will come to you. And my belief is this. An angel will come to you in some form to give you some words of encouragement that can really just... You know, as I say, a word, a sense, a phrase can motivate you and challenge you to go on and do something hugely uh, positive and successful in your life. And they may come to you and talk to you through a book, a film, uh, you know, YouTube, maybe a song, uh, might be um, a stranger in the street, a chance uh, chat in a corridor, a family member, a friend. Uh, you know, just some words will come to you and that person, the words will come from an angel. And if you look out for it, it will come to you and you will benefit from it if you take uh, advice. Who sends that angel down? was got to be one person, God, isn't it? So sends an angel down to you. And this person, actually, I believe has been an intervention in my life. I was going down a road that was going to end up in uh, a bad place for me. And uh, my belief is that that person who was looking over me, I now believe is God, um, decided, looked down, said, Oh, Dave, there's in trouble. Don't know it. <laughs> Silly old fool. I'm going to send someone in. So in, in comes my friend. Uh, gives me, as I said, the biggest wake-up call I've ever had. And um, doubt me grace and favour. Helped me out when I didn't ask for it. But I was doubt grace and favour. I avoided the iceberg. I'm not going to fail. I'm on course for bigger success than I've ever imagined I would have now because I've suddenly grown into a bigger and a better person through acknowledging what was said to me, seeing the issues and actually dealing with with them so um i am full of uh thanks i believe that i've really been blessed in my life with what's happened it wasn't uh pleasant i didn't enjoy it you could say it was tough love well if tough love comes your way accept it take it take it for what it is it is love deal with it get over it the message that i want to give to you about belief is that belief is such an important thing. Believing in the right things is an important thing. It's important for your success, for your health, and for your happiness. But the biggest thing that you need to believe in is believe in you. Believe in who you are. Believe in what you think. Believe in what you do and believe in where you're heading and believe that you are going to get there and believe that if you've got any troubles, someone from somewhere is going to come in to give you some help or some advice. 
to help you to get over your problem. When you've got belief, you'll be like a train that can't be stopped. You may have to stop at some stations called problems and issues, but you're still going to keep going. The train's still going to get rolling and it'll end up getting to the the end destination, which is where you want to go. So believe, believe, believe. They say it in the schools all the time. If you believe, you will achieve. This really is a heartfelt message because I really believe that I have been dealt a blessing. I really uh, believe that I have been dealt some uh, grace and favour. And um, it's a, it's going to help me to avoid some unhappiness in my life. So the message is, I'll say it again and again and again, belief, belief, belief is everything. Believe in the right things and you will go on to find anything that you want to find and get for yourself in your life. This is the Dave Late Be Happy podcast. I'm doing this podcast because I've been unhappy and I've been happy. And I can tell you that being happy beats being unhappy every single day time and as i've said a word a phrase or sentence somewhere sometimes can help someone spin turn their life around and help them to get on the road to get to a better place that's what the aim of this podcast is so if you know of anyone that needs a word a phrase or a sentence of encouragement um, then get them we're going to cover a lot of different things in this podcast then share it with them please subscribe because by subscribing you're going to help me to get this podcast in front of as many people as possible which is the aim i'm going to end up as we always do by just simply saying be happy because if you ain't happy what's the point so be happy i'll see you soon thank you so much for listening take care be safe